everybody. Today we're going to make toilet paper kazoos. <laughs> now this craft is really simple. Here's what we need. A toilet paper roll, a rubber band, some pretty paper to decorate, some wax paper or parchment paper, just a small piece, tape, scissors, and a pen or pencil. Let's get started. Now with this one, we're gonna actually decorate the toilet paper roll before we make the instrument. So I'm gonna use some wrapping paper for a special reason, but you could color it with markers or paint or stickers, or you could do like Susie and use some fun paper. I've chosen birthday party paper. I had some in my closet from when I was wrapping presents for somebody's birthday. So I had little pieces left over and I don't like to waste much. So I'm using that and also because a lot of my friends have been celebrating their birthday while we're at home. So I decided we would celebrate with the birthday party kazoo. So you're gonna to wanna to cut it so that you can wrap the beautiful paper right around the toilet paper roll. And then you just put tape on the side. It. that was really easy I'm gonna trim the top a little because the paper is just a little bit bigger than the toilet paper roll and there you go so it's all wrapped around nice and neat now before we make the instrument part we want to put a hole in the top so the sound can travel this is where you'll need either a pen or some scissors now you might need help if you use your scissors because it needs to be a bit of a sharp point. Now the hole only goes on the top. It doesn't need to go through the bottom, just on the top so that the sound can travel through it. Just a little hole, not too big. I'm gonna make sure it's there. Great. So now we have the hole right there. Next, we're gonna take our wax paper. We don't need a lot, we just need a little bit. It's a good thing, because Susie doesn't have much. I'm gonna take a square of it. Put the rest away. Then we're gonna put it underneath and trace a circle around the toilet paper roll. This way we'll know how big it needs to be. Next, you're gonna to wanna to cut, but bigger, just a little bit bigger than the circle that we drew, because we're gonna to have to put it over the toilet paper roll, and then we're gonna put a rubber band around it. So it has to have space for the rubber band. So, Maybe you can get somebody to draw a second circle if you're doing the cutting, and then that way you can cut. A little bit bigger than the circle we drew. See how we have our circle? Ha ha. I'm gonna trim a little here. Then, if the hole is here, we'll want to take the wax paper and fold it over the top. And you'll have to hold it down a little bit. And then we get our rubber band and wrap it around the top. And we want to make sure 
that the wax paper isn't coming up anywhere. This can be a bit of a trick. You might need some help with this. Gee, last time it was easier. This toilet paper rolls a little bit wonky.